Prior to lifting any load, the weight of the load must be known and the center of gravity must be determined. When the load is not solid or is complex, using two load cells is a very effective method to accomplish these two tasks. We will use load cells to measure the weight of a simple, non-solid load and then determine its center of gravity. The center of gravity of a load is the load's balance point, and the load must always be rigged to its center of gravity, with slings of sufficient capacity to support the load. First, we'll use the load cells to determine the weight of this non-solid rectangular load. Using the hoist rings as the pick points, and supporting the load with two chain falls, we know that the load cell on the right measures 100 pounds, and the load cell on the left measures 40 pounds. That means the total weight of the load is 100 plus 40 pounds for a total of 140 pounds. We will now determine the location of the center of gravity. Measuring the distance across the two pick points, we know that the distance is two feet. The center of gravity will be closest to the heavier end, in this case, the right end at 100 pounds, and away from the lighter end, the left end in our example, at 40 pounds. The center of gravity is determined by taking the heavier end at 100 pounds and dividing by the total weight of 140 pounds. This tells us the center of gravity is 0.71 times the distance between the two pick points toward the heavier end, or 1.4 feet to the right in this example. This places the center of gravity at this point. To verify that we have found the center of gravity, we have balanced the load on a 2x4. The balance point is clearly beneath the point we determined. We have indeed located the center of gravity. Rigging to the center of gravity means that we locate the center of gravity and then place the slings around the center of gravity, creating good load control.